I've got a total of three pages in my document, and you can verify that down below in the status bar. You can see I'm on page one of three. And to quickly get to the end of the document, I can use the shortcut keys, Control end E-N-D, and it takes me right down below. You can see on the status bar, I'm on page three of three now. Let me scroll up. I've got my bulleted points in the last paragraph. If you want to be able to take part of your text on a page and move it over to the next page, you can do it one of a couple of ways. Like if I want to do it to my last paragraph, let me click in front of it, and I can hit the Enter key a couple of times, well, at least enough until I push it onto the next page. But the problem with that, let me come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group and turn on the codes, is that I've got a lot of extra codes. And when it comes to using advanced features and editing my document, if there's a shortcut available, use it because, well, the more code you have, the more challenging it gets to work with. And so what shortcut do we have? Let me go ahead and hit Undo. Come up here, click on the Layout tab, go to the Page Setup group, and we're looking at breaks. And you can see in the pop-up, Insert a Page and Section Breaks. Click on it, and you got two sections. You have your page breaks and you have your section breaks. We'll talk about section breaks in a later training video, but right now, to keep it simple, we're just focused on page breaks. And you can see it's going to mark the point at which one page ends and the next page begins. Now, I want to be careful before I click on this because wherever my cursor is flashing, that's where it's going to take everything to the right and down and push it onto the next page. And so, if I click after the tab code and I insert a page break, it'll push this everything from that point forward down to the next page, but it won't have it indented. So I want to make sure I click in front of everything, so it's probably a good idea to turn on the codes to make sure that you're in front of the tab code if there is one. And then come up here, click on Breaks, and click on Page. Boom. Takes me down to the next page, and it has it inserted. And it's got my text. So when I scroll back up with the codes on, looky there. We got a code for breaking the page right there. So if I want to be able to undo that, and I don't have the Undo option, and they go to the Home tab and turn off the codes, and I'm like, oh, how do I bring this back up? It's on the other page. Well, you could, with the cursor flashing all the way to the left-hand side, hit the Backspace key a couple of times until it brings it back up, or, let me hit Undo, you can come up here and click, well, the tricky thing is, is when you're coming up here and trying to click, there's a page break code there, and if I don't click right, the cursor's not flashing, so I can't delete everything to the right of it or that page break code. So that's where the code comes in handy. Oh, there you go. It's stretched all the way across, and there's the cursor flashing to the left of it. So when I hit the delete key, it deletes everything to the right of it, deletes the code, and we're back to where we started. Now, when it comes to printing your documents, it doesn't print the codes. Let me go ahead and hit undo so you can see the code there. For example, let's go ahead and click on file, go backstage down to print because what you see over in the print preview is what's coming out of your printer. And so do you see any code, page break code there at the bottom of page 3, or towards the bottom? Let me go to page 4. Any paragraph codes or spacing? I don't. So let's go ahead and go back. And let me delete the page break code. And let's do a shortcut instead of coming up on the Layout tab. And going to the Page Setup group to Breaks, the shortcut keys are Control, Enter. Scroll back up, same code, Page Break Code, cool. Let's go ahead and turn off the codes. Go to the Home tab, Paragraph, Deselect it. Now when you're reading your document, let me click and drag the scroll bar, and I go down to the next page, there's a lot of white space. And there's a way to go ahead and get rid of the white space so you're not wasting time scrolling. If all of your pages just have the top page with content and the bottom half doesn't, and you can do that by, well, scroll down to find the borders between the two pages, any two pages, like between three and four, or you can scroll up and, you know, do like two and three, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and hover over the break in between the two, and you can see when you hover over it, you get arrows pointing in. It wants to collapse it when you double click. So to hide all the white space, not just the extra space that you have below the text, but also the headers and footers. It'll collapse those as well. So let me go ahead and click right here. You can see you've got the one inch footer here. That will disappear, but also any extra white space above that. So when I double click on it really fast, oh, got to be careful when you double click. You might actually double click on something else. Nonetheless, notice that when I'm scrolling down, I don't have to do any extra scrolling to get to the content of the next page. So cool. Got rid of the headers and footers and all the extra white space above or below it.
and you can see with the cursor flashing here over the left hand side there's no shade of gray I'm not seeing the header for that page and when I click up here at the bottom of the page there's no shade of gray for the footer so if I want to be able to see them again my headers and footers then you can hover over the line in between the two pages and it doesn't matter any page because it collapses all of them hides the white space double click really fast to show them kind of freaks out and jumps around and but it's back all this lovely white space so that double click is great for reading purposes but when it comes to editing or even viewing and working with your headers and footers which we'll talk about in a later training video you don't want to hide your white space which brings up a good point if you're like hey where's the headers and footers well now you know thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my microsoft office training videos